this video uh, i will describe how to prepare natural rubber latex so for the natural rubber latex we need different ingredients uh, in order to prepare the latex which we which we will use in our labs or industries so for this one we need different ingredients so maybe we will use uh, ph modifiers we will use uh, stabilizers we will use uh, vulcanizing agents accelerators activators and antioxidants so in this video we will mix all these ingredients and we'll show you how to prepare natural rubber latex which we which people are now using in industry and also for the lab works so first i am adding potassium oleate that is used as a stabilizer secondly i added zx that is used as a exfoliator now i am going to add zinc oxide uh, that is used as a uh, activator now i will add uh, antioxidant now uh, i am adding potassium hydroxide and at the end i added sulfur that is used as a vulcanizing agent after measuring the concentration of every raw, every ingredient we mix this one and uh, now we are going to take the natural rubber latex now we are going to add the natural rubber high ammonia latex so keep in mind it's uh, vary for different uh, experimental works so now we are going to put uh, our our mixer or our raw material in the mechanical stirrer so after mixing all the ingredients uh, the next step is we will put our beaker in the hot furnace uh, the temperature is maintained uh, around 70 degree celsius and uh, we will use mechanical stirrer uh, for the duration of almost 30 minutes or maybe 40 minutes depending upon our desired value here we set it the rpm around 200 so after 30 minutes we need to check our uh, sample so we will put the sample in one beaker and in the other beaker we have uh, chloroform so we are taking a very little uh, quantity of the prepared latex this is the chloroform which is used to detect the uh, number of the chloroform number of your uh, raw material and mostly we have one, starting from 1 2 and 3 till 5 but uh, most probably in labs we prefer to use chloroform number 3 so after mixing you can see uh, you can test the sample in your hand and you will see the uh, elasticity of the prepared rubber so uh, after 20 minutes we check our sample so right now it's uh, chloroform number 2 so it still need more 10 minutes to complete the process so this is see, you can see it's chloroform number 2 so you i am going to put again for another 10 minutes so this is the chloroform number 3 so uh, these are four chloroforms Uh, chloroform number one you can achieve after ten minutes. Chloroform number two uh, after twenty five minutes, and then chloroform number three after fifty minutes. And for the chloroform number one, you can see uh, the rubber is like uh, a big. So for the chloroform number, you can see the coagulum is taking length. The chloroform number two, the so coagulum is tender length. So uh, we need. Uh, we need to go further for the chloroform number 3 
and chloral form number three is our desired result which we are using in our labs so in chloroform number three coagulant forms non-tacky so in chloroform number three you can see uh, the coagulant forms non-sticky agglomerates so now we are taking our um, material into our small beaker so we'll, we will shift now so after putting in the beaker we will uh, seal our beaker so the rubber particles or sulfur or inside uh, other ingredients they, they will not evaporate so this is uh, all about how to prepare a natural rubber latex with the help of raw material or different ingredients